So, I've been hearing some stuff lately from people saying they're getting a little tired of unboxing videos. Unboxing videos aren't as, as fun as they used to be, that kind of thing. Uh, you know, it's hard to know sometimes because you, you get, I like to call it the vocal minority. You know, you get like a few people. You know, you do a video and it gets, say, 30,000 views. And if you have like even 100 commenters all saying that, you know, that's still just a small percentage of 30,000. So it's hard to know. But I've been thinking about it and thinking, you know, maybe it doesn't have to be an unboxing video every time. You know, maybe, uh, you know, we can kind of wait and, you know, just do sort of a hands-on video or, or a review. But uh, then, then this happens. Two boxes. What's going on, everybody? I'm Norm from TechnoBuffalo.com. I got the Kyocera Echo from Sprint uh, today. It hits on April 17th. For $199.99 on contract after a rebate. $199.99! Uh, today's the 13th. Got it a few days ahead of time. Thanks to the folks at Sprint for sending it out. And I opened up the FedEx package and there are two boxes. And so it's like a sign that I'm supposed to do an, an unboxing. It's kind of a dual unboxing video. I don't know how this is going to work. But I'm going to try it. I think, you know, it's the whole dual thing. The dual screen phone. Dual unboxing. There, uh, there's a website up on, on Sprint, they have a micro site for pre-ordering the site, and it says, we pre-ordering the phone, it says, we challenge you to a duel, D-U-A-L, and there's a little animated gunslinger, like a duel, anyway. Alright, so here we go, dual unboxing, we'll unbox the big box first. Inside box number one, you get the phone, and what looks like uh, probably a media guide on the flash drive. Here's the phone itself. Here is a lot of styrofoam. Here is nothing under... Oh, I see. So this was supposed to be in here, I bet. This is probably just the media kit with the... Uh, and this was supposed to be... But this doesn't fit. Maybe somebody cut it wrong. <laughs> Maybe... Well, even when they ordered these custom foam inserts, they were all cut wrong. And the retail box one fit, and that's why they sent it out. Here I was thinking it was some kind of high-concept dual unboxing thing. But maybe they just messed up when they cut it. So did they send me two phones? Now let's look inside box number two. It's a box. Now it's a triple unboxing. And inside of this box... Oh, it's empty! So, no, I only got one phone. Uh, I thought I was going to have four screens across two phones. Uh, but inside here, there's the USB cable. There's the power adapter. And there's the infamous second... Uh, this is the second battery... Battery charger external battery. Because a dual screen phone means eating up a lot of battery power. Here's the phone itself. The Kyocera Echo. Kyocera Echo. And, uh, you know, I'll tell you what. Uh, I don't even know what to make of this thing. I have to learn how to use the latch. I have to... It's an Android-based phone. Android 2.2 Froyo. Uh, with two screens. Uh, it's unique. That's for sure. You know, Sprint has, has never... And as long as I've been covering mobile tech, which is uh, a little over five years now, Sprint has never been afraid to take chances and uh, to try to be innovative with their their products and, and that, you know, their services and everything. So, you know, way back when it was the backflip phone, or not the backflip, the upstage. Uh, it was a music player on one side, phone on the other. It was like a mullet, business in the front, party in the back. Um, now it's the... Uh, it's the Echo. It's a dual screen phone with this crazy hinge design. And uh, the deal is that it runs, it runs some apps in uh, full dual screen mode. So it's almost like a little mini tablet. You know, you've got um, Android 2.2 and it's stretched across the whole thing. And you can turn it. Does that have an accelerometer? Yep, you can turn the phone and stretch it across this way. Stretched across the whole thing, I'm so professional. It's stretched across both screens. So you've got, you know, this combination dual screen setup, and, you know, they just, they redid uh, Android 2.2 to fit the dual screens here. And then there's certain apps that can be used in, uh, the battery's dead already. Uh, certain apps that can be used in, uh, in the full-on, you know, two-screen mode, and the certain apps that are, are customized to to kind of take advantage of um, both screens at the same time. So, oh, all right. So I have to set up the Google account and all that stuff. So see, this is why unboxing aren't, aren't as cool anymore because you have to get these things all set up, and you can't just get that set up, uh, you know, right out of the box. It takes a few minutes.
uh, let's get some some you know a little tour around the phone here. So you know you've got basically the the dual capacitive touchscreens kind of mimicking each other with the uh, three buttons on the bottom there, um, the three capacitive touch buttons for home menu and back, uh, and then you can to learn how to use this flip properly. Then you can close it up and just go into single screen mode. Uh, when it's closed up, you know, it's a thick phone for sure. Thicker than, uh, smarter than your average bear. Here, I'm going to get a, uh, another phone. Here's the Thunderbolt, which is also a giant phone. Uh, you know, single screen, four inch screen. Um, definitely not a small phone, but you can see the, uh, the Echo much, much thicker than the Thunderbolt. Uh, anyway, on top here, there's nothing. There's the hinge. On the left spine, you've got a three and a half millimeter headphone jack. You've got a card slot. You got your power button. You got a rocker switch. You got a USB port. Uh, on the bottom, nothing here. Just a little Qualcomm 3G CDMA. It's a 3G phone, not 4G. Uh, on the other side, again, just your uh, just your uh, all your controls are on the one spine here because the rest is is taken over with the hinge and all that stuff. And then on the back, you've got your camera, five megapixel with a flash, autofocus, 720p HD video capture. And um, you know you can use your uh, you can use your your dual screen kind of as a little mini laptop mode or flatten them out in the tablet mode to launch a second application. Touch both screens at the same time after tapping OK. So I think what you can do let's go home and this locked in. So you can touch both screens at the same time. Oh wait, no, I see. Let's get back to uh, where we were. And now, touch both screens at the same time. And now I can launch a second application. So I could have... View queue. So I can have my browser going down here, and then separate of that I can have View queue, which is the customized YouTube app going up there. Um, just all kinds of craziness <laughs> going on with this device. I will say, you know, sort of out of the box here, that, um, you know, obviously I'm going to have to spend some time playing around. See, this was bad. I got stuck into the unboxing app, but if there's unboxing video, but there's any phone that shouldn't have an unboxing video, it's this thing, because really, I need to spend some time uh, figuring out what is going on with the two screens and which apps work across both and, you know, all the different uh, configurations here. But uh, basically... Let's touch this again and see what happens. Now we're back across to the... Uh, now I'm back. I've got just... It. That's, it's all very interesting. Um, that's all I can really say right now. It's very interesting, very interesting, very interesting. Uh, basically, you know, just out of the box, a couple things I'll say about it. Um, the, uh, the, the snap on the hinge feels pretty solid, and it definitely locks in and locks out, you know, very... You know, it's definitely you can tell when it's locked into tablet mode or when it's open and then you know it snaps nicely into this laptop style mode as well um, and I could see using this you know I have to try out the email app I could see using this with the typing down here and uh, you know viewing your message pane up there you know just like that just like that but I have to configure my email account so I'll do that offline um, obviously it's a thick phone it's not gonna be for everybody uh, there's a lot of bezel in between the two displays when you're in tablet mode. And even just looking at this little, you know, tip button there, the Kaiser Echo 2 displays provide you with more possibilities as a phone or a tablet. And I wonder if that's the sort of thing that you'd get used to or if it would just always be annoying to see content, you know, this great, like, you know, it's almost the resolution of some of the tablet uh, devices out there in terms of pixels. I'll uh, get the spec sheet here. All right, and so what you wind up with when uh, you know, the, the phone is open, each screen is 3.5 inches. So opening them up, you get effectively a 4.7 inch roughly display. Uh, and the, the combined resolution of both screens is 960 by 800. So you're, you're on par almost with, you know, iPad is 1024, 768. Um, so 960 by 800, you know, a little different proportions and whatnot, but, but you're almost at a full tablet size in terms of, of pixels. But the problem is that that nice giant screen feeling is broken up right there. And, you know, so you're, you're sort of, if we go back to the web browser here and, uh, you know, load up, uh, let's not load up that, yeah, let's load up, um,
this screen. And so we load up a screen here, and um, you know we want to zoom in and out. Is this a? Oh, this is a mobile. Ah, trying to make a point here, people. Oh, all right. And then so here you've got you know the the keyboard only spans doesn't span all the way across. So let's go back into uh, let's tilt it and go into this mode. Uh, True Hoop has been my standby for uh, a website that loads up in non-mobile mode. It's running on Sprint and you've got, you know, the, the Android notification bar and all that stuff. It's pretty standard Android 2.2 from what I've seen, uh, what I saw before I got the device and what I see now. Um, anyway, so here's True Hoop opening up and, uh, you know, if we're, if we're going to So can we not, not doing multi-touch? Gonna have to go old school style. Oh, interesting. I thought it was multi-touch, but seems not to be. Well, at any rate, you know, if you're looking at something, uh, especially if it's a visual, you know, we'll just use this ad, uh, just because it's there, and you know, it's broken up by that bezel. And I just wonder if after using this phone day in day out, you just get used to it and your brain just sort of learns to ignore the bezel, or if it's just going to be annoying to have that all split up and sort of defeat the purpose, at least as far as using the expanded screen. Now the dual mode, you know, apps that, that uh, you know, using two apps at the same time, or using an app where it, it takes advantage of both screens, you know, like this, where you've got the keyboard down here and then the screen up above, that could be kind of cool. So an interesting concept, I'm excited to play with it. I'm dubious right now, I was dubious when they launched it, I'm dubious now. Uh, it just sort of feels like one of those things that is either maybe ahead of its time or, you know, just never had a time. But I'm withholding, I shouldn't have even said that because I want to withhold judgment until uh, I use the device for a while. Uh, but, you know, as always, uh, kudos to Sprint for trying to push the envelope. With the Kyocera Echo, the amazing dual screen phone with two boxes that turned into 45 boxes and its own external battery, extra battery external charger that it had to come with in the package because two screens take up so much power. So here you go, you get this little little charger and uh, it's got I'll take the film off of it and so you've got your charger and then uh, USB powered Oh man, see I, I fail with batteries, I fail with extra chargers too. Where's the extra battery? Maybe the extra battery is inside the box somewhere. Anyway, so you can carry this around and snap the battery in and out because um, you need that much juice for a phone with this many screens. $199.99 on contract with a, uh, after rebate through Sprint on April 17th, which means I have a couple days to mess around with it and uh, let you know what I think of it before it hits the stores. Much, much more on the Echo and, uh, you know, the old-fashioned one-screen phones over on technobuffalo.com and uh, of course on Twitter you can follow us at technobuffalo, I'm at Noah Kravitz, John is at John for Lakers, uh, Sean, Emily, welcome Adriana, Adriana just signed up, my old pal Adriana just joined up with Techno Buffalo this week, very excited about that, thumbs up, uh, Joey, Jack, John, 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 we've got a lot of people named John, you can follow us all on Twitter, just go over to the website, hit the editor's link and uh, that, that'll tell you how to track us all down and, and stalk us on Facebook and Twitter and all that stuff. Till next time, my name is Noah. Bye-bye.